According Welcome to another episode of Breaking Your Seal. I am your host, John Myers. Today, I'm bringing you a Hot Toys figure. One that we haven't we haven't had Hot Toys on the show for a while, so we're gonna bring one back on here. This is Deadpool, six scale collectible figure. This is the movie masterpiece series, uh, Deadpool 2. So this one comes with a lot of accessories. So we are gonna take our time going through all of these so you guys can see everything that he comes with and you can see all of the different ways that you can display him. So, like every Hot Toys, comes with a nice slip case. Does have the cast and crew on the back. Um, pretty standard. JC Hong, friend of the show. X-Men trainee on the side, that's pretty funny. Okay. Now, right off the bat, You'll see this guy, tons of hands, okay? Just so many hands. And we're gonna set up uh, the stand and the background because there's a lot there. So let's do that first. All right, so this is kind of the new thing. Well, it's not really new anymore, but uh, the backdrops that the Hot Toys come with, um, this is actually a little bit more unique than some of the other ones that we've seen. Um, some of them usually just kind of curve out and around, so it kind of gives you that 3D effect with the figure. Um, this actually has shelving units, and I'll show you why. Uh, right off the bat, you've got the X-Men jersey, trainee on the back, the one that he wears in the movie. Um, these are actually display shelves that you can put all of his goodies on because he's got a lot of them. But I thought that that was pretty neat because most of the time these things serve no purpose. Um, if you're a museum displayer where they just kind of, you know, stand up straight like Finn Balor, that's what you're going to get. Now these, you can actually do stuff with this. So I really do appreciate that, uh, giving me a little bit more variety of what I can do with the actual figure itself. So, some of the things he comes with. The uh, unicorn that he does the things with. You know what I'm talking about if you've seen the movie. I'll move the stand over here a little bit. Um, he does come with these high heel sh platform things. These do actually go on his feet. I'm not going to put them on, but these are shoes that you can put on the figure. So that's another thing that's kind of funny that it comes with. These will stand up here. The table's a little off, so so if you see him fall off, don't don't let that scare you. The table's a little shifty, but these do stay on pretty well. This is the uh, power. Um, I don't know what they really call it, but this is the collar that he wears that, that kind of deadens the powers. So this is something you can put around his neck. It's got a little, little snap-on uh, dot there. I don't know if it'll stay on or not. We're going to give it a shot. Nope. Okay. Well, we'll just stick it down here. Nope. There goes the shoe. All right. So here's the figure itself. This is a really good detailed figure. Um, this is one of the better ones that I've seen. Um, again, he has got tons of hands that you can put on. Um, we're going to go with the gun hands because why not? But he does have all the pouches that you'd expect Deadpool to have. He's got knives that you can take out and put in the holsters. Of course, he's got your guns. And let's see if these are the uh, detailed guns. Yep, those are the detailed guns that do cock. It's got the uh, actual bullet in there as well. So that's kind of a cool little thing right there. You can see it in there, really nice and neat. And those, these of course got hands that can hold the guns or you can put them in the holsters. He does come with two of them. 
I would have liked to have seen a little bit. I, I, I don't know the details of the movie. I haven't seen it that many times yet, but um, would have seen like a little Deadpool sign on the guns. That would have been a cool little addition there. But if it's not in the movie, I understand why they wouldn't do that. Suit looks great though. I mean, I really like, like the padding, the texture to it. It's got a really good look to it. One of the most fun things about the Deadpool figures, and this was the same thing in the um, first Deadpool, is the eyes. Now, these are magnetically changeable eyes that you can switch in and out. He's got four different, well, five different sets, including the ones that he's got on. Um, I'm gonna take one of them out. You can see they're just little magnets that hold them on. They're very easy to take on and off. Um, but they are small, so you need to be sure that you keep them in a place that's going to keep them good and safe. Let's see. Is that the right side? Yep. How's that look? Yeah! I like that one small eye and one big eye look. I think that's a pretty fun look. Alright, he also comes with his double swords. One of the cool things about this that I found was that he's actually got a magnet in his back. So, get the stand out of the way. So this is has nothing that it attaches to. It just goes right there. You can kind of see it. Boom, look at that. That is a really, really neat addition. Um, I, I, I can't say enough about the magnets and the hot toys. It makes things so much easier than the old figures used to be. Um, they, the swords obviously do come out, um, and it is kind of, it, that's kind of like a metal too. They're pretty, they got some pretty good weight to them, so that's that's a nice, uh, nice addition there too. And one thing that we did find out about the swords as well, is that if you don't want to display him with the swords, he also comes with this groovy little Deadpool magnet, and you can take them, if you want to display them, and put them up there like that. So I think that's pretty neat. That's fun, you know? I mean, you might not do that. I don't think I would display him without the swords on his back. But again, that's just a really cool addition that they put on there. I'll put that right there. All my stuff is falling off the shelves. Again, guys, don't let that scare you away from, from displaying it like that. Uh, we're just on a wobbly table. But if you put it on, on your nicer shelves, uh, they'll be just fine. So we got all the eyes, got all the hands, so many hands. Um, there's a couple of small little weapons that he has too. Uh, another, let's see what these, it's got these very tiny little things and I think they go on his feet. I'm not 100% sure. Or maybe they go in another one of the pockets. I haven't found the place for those yet. Um, but they're little tiny little knives that he's got. And, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't see a place for those. So I may have to go back and watch the movie again to see exactly where it was that those things came came from. But that's pretty much it um, for the Deadpool Hot Toys. Let's see all the different hands that he's got. He's got the double gun hands. So you can, you can pose him with the two guns. He's got the open fists. Uh, those are probably going to be good for the swords. If you want to do double swords. He's got just kind of like the, I don't know, kind of just like open like, <laughs> I'm not really sure what those poses are going to be for. Maybe kind of like an action pose you could do. Got the gun hands where he's just kind of doing the, the guns with his fingers. Um, that's actually like, that's a uh, pointing. And then he's got the gun hand. That's what we've got on him today. Um, he's got A-OK. -okay. Or for you old school gamers, don't look at the circle game. And thumbs up. There's so lots of different things you can do with this guy. Um, I really, really enjoy that. I'm not a huge Deadpool fan. I think he's kind of overused in a lot of different ways, both 
media, comics, uh, shows, kind of all across the board. But if there was ever a human being that was born to be Deadpool in real life, it would be Ryan Reynolds. And he does an excellent job in the movies. And uh, I, I really appreciate what they've done with the character. I hope that, that Disney can keep it going in some way, shape, or form. Uh, but we, I guess we'll, time will tell on that. But uh, this particular figure is open. His seal is broken. And he is at the destination. So if you are a Deadpool fan, Hot Toys fan, Marvel fan, this is a great piece to pick up. Um, I think the only thing that I would say that I would add to it is if they did a second head sculpt of him without the mask on. That would be the only enhancing thing I could say that they would do to this. Um, as a movie masterpiece, that would be kind of an additional thing that I think they could do. Uh, but again, they can obviously roll these things out a lot quicker if they don't have to do head sculpts like that. So, uh, very good figure, lots of good accessories. Um, you know, the, the backdrop is gonna be a good place for you to display all the different things that he comes with. So I thought that, that was pretty cool. Base, pretty standard, nothing too special there. Um, this is obviously uh, one of the articulated stands, so if you wanna do kind of like a, like a jumping or, or some kind of flying through the air pose, you can do that as well. So um, nice versatility for this one. This is a great Hot Toys figure. Um, definitely up there with one of the, the better uh, sculpts they've got. So thanks again, guys. Um, I appreciate you always watching the show. You can see all of our other episodes on YouTube, destinationcomics.com slash DNN, and on Facebook where I give you weekly, daily updates on fun, some of the fun stuff that's coming up, some of the fun stuff that's going to be coming out in the stores. Um, as always, guys, everything that we have in the, on the show, you can get at Destination Comic Book Store in Louisville, Kentucky. Always, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget, break that seal.